show you how to program these furnaces. There's one controller that looks like this, and there's another one on the other side of the room that's called UP150. Um, for these furnaces, we typically use these in the sophomore lab four to heat treat steels, or actually these are used to, to temper the steel. Um, so switch it on. It's got four buttons here. We basically only use the up and down arrows and this R button. So if you want to come in and take a close look at these, um, you'll see two numbers here. The top one is the uh, thermocouple. The thermocouple is located in the back here, middle. These are two different wires that are uh, spot welded together on the ends. And basically you have um, temperature sensing through the different thermal expansion of two metals together. Or the resistance, sorry, the resistance of a nickel chrome alloy is uh, what measures that. You'll also notice the heating elements uh, that are kind of sticking through on the, the wall. So there's heating elements all around here, um, but there's none on the door of this one. And basically, while the furnace is on and applying current to the heaters, you don't want to touch those heating coils with anything metal. So. The bottom of this is a set point. That's what you want the furnace to go to. So we set this to what we call local mode, which is like we set a temperature and it just goes there. By holding this power button, and you can see on the program it says idle, we push this again to kind of cycle through the settings. And then we can dial up this set point to whatever number we want. So that's going to be like maybe 400 to 600 degrees Celsius for the tempering of the steels. Now if we keep pressing this button, we're gonna see some uh, other numbers. I'll see this R1 is a ramp rate, so that's 20 degrees C per minute. This L1 is a set point level. This is room temperature. This D1 is a duration. So uh, you have to look through the manual, but I believe it's the, the time that you dwell at that temperature. Uh, so, so you want heat treat for an hour, you just set it for 60 minutes. Right? So fairly straightforward. After I have set that set point, then it's good. If you wanted to do like the um, the levels, like one, two, etc. Like if you want this to be a thing where you go to a set point and have duration, and then you do the second set point for a duration. If you want to do those, then I think you would do the instead of idle, you go up to run. And then you just run that, and then it will uh, it will go through those steps. Okay, so that's that controller. We can hop over to this one. Something else you want to note is uh, the thermal mass of the oven. So if we have if we have to heat treat some metal for like a senior design project, and it's supposed to be very specific temperature and time duration, we want to preheat that furnace. Uh, like an hour or two ahead of time. Make sure it's it's stable at the temperature. So when we pop the door, load our samples, and close it, that the air temperature doesn't drop hundreds of degrees, and it takes a while to get back up to temperature, so it won't be the same. Okay, we've got this loaded with some uh, slip cups and frisbees, and we're gonna fire those. So I'll show you how to program that, as well as set the local mode on this furnace. So if we just want to set it to a temperature and have it run, we hold this blue button. We go up twice, one, two. We This is for local. Hit blue again. You notice the heater's on, and this is now a live temperature that we can adjust to whatever. As we adjust, we see this blinking light here. This means that it's not currently set. So if we left it, it would not put in that temperature. It would have whatever we started with. Once we push the blue button, it sets the temperature. Okay. If we don't want the local mode, then we're going to hold this blue button again. Instead of local, we'll go to this RES. We'll hit the blue button again. We're going to go back into that. Push it once. When you see this program, go to 1. This SSP is a starting set point that's always room temperature. Set point 1. For us, in our, when we glaze these samples, or fire these samples, 950 degrees Celsius. This time one is the time it takes to get to that set point. We have this handy sheet, should be nearby, which says, what's your target set point? Ours is 950, right? 
And what's your ramp rate across the columns? So if my if I want to do it like slow, 5C a minute, and I want to go to 950, I just read across, and then maybe it takes three hours and five minutes to get there. So then I would just put that in as the set point. And then you do a bunch of uh, set points and the time it takes to get there. Um, so if, if you had like, uh, like set point, starting set points, room temperature, second set point, it's 950. Third set point, again, would be 950. And my duration would be, uh, let's see. Let's do, and this cycles all the way through, so we'll just set it. Yeah. Starting set point's 25. Uh, first set point's 950, it takes 2.2 .2 hours to get there. Set point two, we're gonna go up to 950 again. Well, actually, on this one, we just wanna get it to 950 and then stop, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but typically, you'd hit the same set point again and hold it for like an hour. The third set point, back down at room temperature, and the time you put for that one could be negligible if you want uh, furnace cool. It's just gonna cool as fast as it can. So that won't matter. For set point four, um, if that's all you wanna do, just make sure the last time is off and not any other numbers, and then that will end the sequence. I think you can go up to 16 steps. You wanna make sure that these settings are as seen. This one is an alarm setting. This is one of the most important ones. If this number is lower than your maximum set point, your printers will never reach that temperature. This, at this temperature, it's going to cut the heaters, the power to the heaters. Okay, once all your settings are set, you can hold this blue button again. And to run the program, we're gonna hold the down arrow. We'll hear it click, we'll see the light under run, and the light for the applying heat to the heaters will be on. And this program will take uh, about, I don't know, three and a half to four hours to run, and it will automatically come down to room temperature. So if I wanted to, I could leave this overnight, come in the next day, and turn off the furnace and take my samples out. One thing you want to be careful of is if you're loading samples, you want to turn the power off while you're doing that. Um, you'll notice also if I pop the door, it cuts power to the heaters too, so it's, it's probably safe to do it, but um, we just want to double check that we're not applying current to those heating coils as we put our tongs or our hands near the furnace.